your health tonight. We're asking, could nationwide antibiotic shortages hurt us here in Erie County? Some new research shows these shortages are growing and could be putting patients at risk. News 4's Jen Schott spoke to the Erie County Health Commissioner and a local doctor who shed a lot of light on this issue, right, Jen? That's right, Dave. Dr. John works at ECMC says there are shortages here. His biggest concern is the level of treatment and the cost to the patients when antibiotics are in short supply. Even more interesting is the FDA's role in all of this. We've likely all used them at some point. Antibiotics. They're a quick fix for infections, but what happens when they run low? A new study suggests that's been happening in the U.S. since 2007. Dr. John Crane of ECMC says his hospital isn't immune. Right now, two widely used antibiotics are running low there. One is called piperacillin tazobactam. That's the intravenous drug. And then the one that comes in the oral tablet form is called metronidazole, better known as Flagyl, its trade name. The former treats serious hospital infections, and Crane says it was the most used antibiotic at ECMC. But it's been in shortage for months now. Sometimes the alternative is not quite as good as the drug that has gone uh, in short supply. And so patients could suffer as a result of that. They could also pay more. In the past, antibiotics in short supply have jumped from 10 to 20 cents per pill up to $5 per pill, which Crane says could end up burdening the county. Neither the CDC nor the FDA uh, uh, maintain stockpiles of any medications. They also aren't informed of antibiotic shortages, which Crane says should change. So what can you do? Erie County Health Commissioner Gail Burstein says don't panic and that at a county level there are no widespread shortages but she says a growing concern is the overuse of antibiotics. If you know you see your health care provider and the, the provider tells you well you just have a viral infection and antibiotic won't work um, you know you just have to listen to them. Now, by overusing common antibiotics for things like the flu or the headache, Burstein says your body can lose its ability to react well to the drug, which can lead to drug-resistant infections or what popular layman's term, superbugs, which of course are very difficult to treat. Now, Jen, let me ask you this. At this point, how are these shortages supposed to be reported? Dave, essentially they're being reported at will right now, according to Dr. Crane, but this is really interesting. The FDA is trying to change that. There's actually a new drug shortage app. You can download it on your mobile phone and you can report a shortage from there. But again, as Crane mentioned, it's not currently a law to report these to the FDA, which he says is part of the problem. All right, Jen, thanks very much.